Girl, put your records on. All right, this is the Thor News Weekend Edition where I cover stuff. And that stuff is whatever I want to talk about because that is how cool my job is. And today, we are tracking the Chinese rocket that is re-entering the atmosphere and may hit someone straight in the face and kill them. Although the odds are 70% chance it will go into the ocean, but there's a 30% chance it can hit land. And there's a chance it could kill people. Who knows what's going to happen next? This is Walid, and he spotted nine minutes ago it over Jordan. And so the speculation is now that this thing has one or two more orbits before it definitely re enters and lands. But we are officially in the re entry window. So it could hit any time now. It's one of the most interesting stories out there. Also, NASA turned over the entire space program to Elon Musk, so Elon Musk could then promote Bitcoin and Dogecoin. And Elon Musk will be hosting Saturday Night Live tonight. And um, I said, whatever happens, I would sell your Dogecoin before SNL starts. And so... It peaked at 71 cents or 73 cents and now it is down to 63 cents and out of 7 billion people I am one of the two people who has said I think cryptocurrency will crash 50 to 75 percent between May 13th and July 28th but you don't necessarily have to take financial advice from me um, I said that once after they crashed crypto in 2017 it was going to rebound big again, um, which it did. And for all the people that got rich, I don't. none of them donated to Thor News, even though that's how I make my money. So, I don't know. It's a weird deal. I'm happy today. This is one of the coolest rainbows I've ever seen in my life. And it was in New Jersey. Look at those colors, man. Man, God is great. This is the proof of the covenant between man and God. So, I'm not losing any faith. And remember how I've been talking about volcanoes since I started my YouTube channel? And then I've been saying we would see volcano activity increase from 2017 through like 2023, 2024 due to all the gas giants being on the same side. And I don't think the West Coast of the United States, specifically like Los Angeles, is very safe in 2021, 2022, 2023. And I don't want to freak anybody out there, but I'm just saying this is the Pacaya volcano in Guatemala. And if you've been monitoring volcanoes across the world, eh, yeah, dude, the activity is just going to continue to increase and get crazier. Though, if you did have an event like a major earthquake, major volcano eruption in California and a bunch of people died, that would probably be really great for crypto because death and crypto just seem to be tied together, man. It's very weird, but strange days, man. But you are an Asteroid Fight Club all-star. And I love you. But I just wanted to show you this. Because like, yeah, man, we are living in super duper crazy times. And I am very grateful. And I want to say again to everybody out there in Asteroid Fight Club. Um, the first week of May was not fun for me. And you guys supported me. And so I just super duper 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 appreciate y'all. And I want to say, now that I've made it through all of the vaccination symptoms of the first two shots, I am glad I got vaccinated. And if you don't get vaccinated, good luck and Godspeed. You know? Let's we'll see what happens. It's a personal choice. Okay, great. Hey, remember that really big solar flare yesterday? M3.8, the biggest solar flare of Solar Cycle 25. Well, we had another solar flare today. It wasn't as big. It was a C-class. But the sun is definitely waking up, and that is very exciting. I'm pretty sure Solar Cycle 25 will be bigger than Solar Cycle 24, and that is good news for people because the more active the sun is, the better civilization gets and the more fun people have. So... And now me, you, and industrial engineer Irene Quiorez 
are going to check out this beautiful filament dance. All right. Oh, yeah. And I just want to say a cool sidebar of me having not feeling well over when I got my second shot. I didn't really eat anything this week. In the last six weeks, I've been trying to walk four miles a day. So I lost a lot of weight this week. And I think I've lost like 25 pounds in six weeks. I still want to lose like uh, 35 more pounds. And then I'll be too sexy for my own good. Can't wait. It's always fun. It's also very exciting. And remember, try and enjoy life. Because you don't know how long you're going to live. You don't know how long I'm going to live. You know, nobody knows, man. But who knows? You could be here another 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Life's crazy like that. Wait, did this happen tonight? I went for a walk for like two hours. Um, I guess not. But man, I need to get some partying done over the next few weeks before hurricane season starts. Because I imagine it's going to be a doozy. Hey, they had some fun in Kansas today. Remember, there's probably going to be severe weather tomorrow. But here's the craziness about all this. If I understand it correctly, and I could be wrong, but it's on this yellow line. And so it's really like uh, musical chairs that when will the music stop? And so whenever the music stops, that's where it will crash. And so if it has one or two more orbits around the planet, that means, if I'm understanding correctly, the United States of America is still in play. But there are still a lot of territories, you know, cities, populated areas, that are still in play. So this is super fascinating. Where will it go? Nobody knows. Uh, hopefully Space Force will shoot it out of the sky or push it into the water. And so I'm not technically that worried about it, but it's 2021. Surprises are going to happen. Schumann resonance has been just off the charts lately. But yeah, dude, today and yesterday were like the best I have felt in a while. Oh my God, this is so exciting. The sun, man. So look at this. We've had an M39, a C1.5, a C8.6. And I want to remind you again. Even though 95%, 99% of all people on YouTube who do weather and space weather or any truth or stuff, they've been selling you since 2015 that we are going into some grand solar minimum. And look, we went into a solar minimum for about six months. And since then, the sunspot progression and solar flux have exceeded NASA and NOAA's expectations for nine months. And look at this. In 1810, the sun went dead or quiet for three years. Well, a year and a half. It was like, oh, nine. Yeah, to like at least two and a half years. So our sun only went spotless for six months. So we aren't even going to be in a this one. So it ain't a grand solar minimum, bro. We're dead. It's definitely not. Just saying, you know, I, I'm sorry if people get upset that I'm correct, but I, it happens a lot. All right, I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7 the T. I will be here doing what I do, and I might even go live and watch Saturn Alive with you. You will have to uh, be watching on TV and then watching me on your phone or your computer. And it may not be that, that fun or entertaining. I'm just letting you know. Anyway, everybody, have a great day. Have a great Mother's Day. Have a great weekend. Let's have a great May. Let's have a great spring. Let's have a great summer. Let's be prepared to get attacked by supervillains at every turn. Because um, it's going to be wild for the next two or three years. Okay. I love y'all. Stay cool. Peace out. God bless everyone.